So welcome to your fourth Visual Basic tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to use variables in Visual Basic. So if you haven't done any other kind of programming languages before then you probably no won't know what a variable is. A variable is basically a piece of code that can store a value and that value is actually stored in RAM, so random access memory. So what I want this to do is I want when I press this button it's going to tell me what my name is in the message box. So as you can see I've just created a form with a button and I've made the text for the form as what is your name and the button has text of your name is dot dot dot. So if I double click on this button now to see its code, here we can put dim for declare in memory and I'll be just saying declare in, in the future, it's a lot easier. So and then put a space and then we put the name of the variable. So I'm going to put name equals, sorry, as, and then we put what type of variable it is. So it could be a string, a number, a decimal, a point, things like that. So I'm going to put as string because our name, my name is made up of letters. It's not 193482. So that's that. So now we've got to say what name is equal to. So put name underneath it and set it equal to and then remember I said about quotes in the previous tutorial since this is a string we put in quotes so I'm going to put new and then I'm just going to make some space in between these so that we can say this area is our variables and this area down here is what's actually going to happen so put message box dot show and then put the brackets then here we just put name so if we run that and we press the button, you see it says Neil in the box. So just close all of that. We can also do something else. We can also set um, in here we can just put some quotes and we can say my name my name is. Then put a space after this and I'll show you why in a minute. And then plus and then name. So what this is gonna do is my name is and then since this is Neil it's gonna show my name is Neil if it was Steve then it would be my name is Steve and we put the space here to break up the word is and Neil because otherwise there'll be two there'll be the same word together and it wouldn't it wouldn't read right so if I run this now and press the button you see it says my name is Neil in one sentence so that's your tutorial on variables this probably seems pointless to you if you haven't done any other kind of programming but trust me when you start getting into the advanced kind of stuff it will be something that you do without even realizing it is one of the most useful things you'll use in, uh, in Visual Basic and any programming language so yeah so in the next tutorial I'll be teaching you how to use if statements which is where all the fun comes in and so thank you for watching this tutorial don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe and I'll see you in the next tutorial.